Hey, what's up guys? Just got done working, came out and shot my bow and wanted to take a second to uh, show you some of the gear that I'll be running out of the tree stand this year. So everyone knows our affinity for QU and uh, these may even be twos. These are 11 by 45s. Um, where I hunt in Pennsylvania, I don't have much demand for being able to reach out. Um, and really the low light situations that I'm in, if a buck is close enough um, for me to see, um, I don't really have the need to be able to count points on them. Um, if they're within range, I'll be able to tell if they're legal or not. So one of the de decisions that I made this year um, was to go with a different set of binoculars for the whitetail woods. Um, I had these out west uh, for our hunt in Utah. Absolutely love them. The B2s are phenomenal. Low light is clutch. Um, and I, I really don't have, I'll just throw them on the ground. Um, that's why they've got a good warranty. But the uh, Kuyu pack, I really don't have any complaints about. Um, the, bi or the, the bino harness is great. The problem that I had was with the uh, rangefinder pouch. Um, now the rangefinder pouch from QU, I've already given it to, uh, to my dad to use because his rangefinder is a little bit smaller than mine. So it's not really a problem with the rangefinder pouch. It's more a problem with my rangefinder being too big. It takes two hands to get out of the pouch. So um, I went ahead and ordered marsupial after uh, watching Matt use his and kind of familiarizing myself with their bino harness and rangefinder pouch. Um, ordered myself a small and I'm gonna be running the Maven, these C2 binoculars. Uh, now these are a 10 by 28, so they aren't big at all. They're really small and compact, which for me in a tree stand is perfect. Um, I'll actually probably use them where the B2s, um, they just sit on my chest most of the time. And um, their rangefinder pouch has a little bit more room to it. So with one hand, um, I can pull that guy out. Now the biggest difference between the two um, harnesses and the pouches is instead of with the Kuyu being on, set on a draw, drawstring so you can tighten it up, um, it's still one handed operation to grab um, the actual harness straps to the binoculars, um, straps in at the side. Um, these guys operate off of magnets. So the magnet pulls down, you can, if it's not raining, you can leave these guys wide open. Uh, the binoculars, they do come with these clips, so you can clip them on so they aren't gonna go anywhere uh, if you drop them, or you can just have them free hanging out in there. Um, but I just, I'm really impressed with their system. Uh, it's good quality stuff made in the US, and uh, that's, that's the system I'm gonna be running today. These C2s are actually a, a downgrade from the B2s for me as far as um, the tier of glass, but for the application, um, I think they're gonna be a much better fit for what I'm doing. Uh, I would strongly recommend if you're looking for a new pair of binoculars, their C1s are, or the C2s would be a great option. Um, the C2s more so for um, tight spaces um, where I hunt it's gonna be really thick I don't think I'll sit on a field edge at all this year um, because of the limited amount of time that I can hunt evenings um, so I don't really like I said I don't need to be able to stretch out uh, in the low light at 28 versus a 45 um, I just I don't need that low light to be able to draw in as much light um, so the application for me these guys are gonna work great and uh, and they're definitely affordable so that's new and then one of the cool things that we learned from Matt while we were out there's this little bow hook these guys are 10 bucks on Amazon I don't even know who makes it um, but yeah so as you're just hiking around and you want to glass something you throw your bow on that bow hook so uh, that is a clutch um, clutch $10 investment that I'd highly recommend so until next time, that's all I got for you. Um, I'm pretty pumped on uh, getting in the tree stand. Two weeks from tomorrow, it's Tuesday right now after work, um, two weeks from Wednesday, I'll be at camp and uh, I'll have my first morning sit up there, but I should be able to get a hunt in either Monday or Tuesday morning, uh, a week coming from this next Monday and Tuesday. So season's coming, got doe tags and a buck tag to hopefully fill. 
but you just never know. We have no control over it except to uh, be in the stand and hope for the best, so looking forward to it.